Okay. So the, the Crush Festival is, is well and truly underway. Um, here at Harndorf Hill, in Adelaide Hills. There was an event on last night, on Friday night, and um, I, I, I thought I'd come up today, being Saturday, and um, I'd had a talk to Larry, who's the, uh, who's the man behind the, the winery, and there's really interesting wines. We've spent the last hour or so just having a chat about these varieties, which I find are fascinating, and, and I guess probably more importantly, thoroughly enjoyable to drink. So um, I might just get you, Larry, just to tell us a little bit about these wines that we've been tasting. Um, and I guess uh, a little bit of the, the story behind them. Great. Michael, firstly, welcome to the Adelaide Hills. And uh, yes, we said earlier on we're going to be showing you other than varieties other than Sauvignon Blanc. So uh, we're having a bit of fun today with some Austrian varieties. Um, we've cracked open a bottle of Grunewald Lina, a bottle of Zweigelt, and we're about to do some Blau Frankish as well. So wrap that round your lips and put it in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Um, the the Grunewald Lina is always is very. I'm always very excited about Grunewald Lina. I love it as a variety. Um, it's just one of those wines which gives you a lovely textural experience. Um, as I said earlier, it's not a, a, a fruit-driven berry, strawberry, gooseberry wine at all. It's more about texture, uh, savory components, and uh, just an amazing freshness. And this is the 2012, which I'll just. Pop a little bit in here, and um, they they translate very beautifully here in the hills. We were chatting earlier about the the, the native country from which the Grunewald Lina comes from is Austria, obviously, and the region is in the uh, Lower Austria, Kamsal, Kremstal areas, and they really translate very very beautifully here in the Adelaide Hills. Um, I think the freshness is there, that citrusy component, that pear, almost always a bit of pineapple component coming through, and on the palate. It really, it really talks to you on the palate in the sense that you have that amazing freshness, the citrusy components, um, lovely mineral, textural. Um, it's, it's been had a bit, quite a bit of skin contact, so it's quite a lovely bit of textural component. And also because of the, the wild ferment, there's that beautiful unctuousness on the mid palate. And the whole package to me is, is fresh and appealing and textural. And I just just really love them. They they burst out and gorgeous. Is it's a, a variety I guess a lot of people in Australia wouldn't be familiar with. And I understand that um, you're very passionate about the variety and and, and promoting it within the region um, yep. of the Adelaide Hills. Do yep. you see this as something that we're going as consumers going to see more of uh, in the future? You can is bet it on suited to the Adelaide Hills. You can bet on all of the above. Um, certainly, we're seeing a lot of uh, Grunewald is being brought in from Austria, uh, from a whole range of producers, and the interest is out there. Certainly, still an, an, a relatively unknown variety, Grunewald Lina. I think um, a lot of people are worried about its pronunciation. I think it's easier to say Grunewald Lina than Sauvignon Blanc, for example. So it's probably harder to pronounce and a lot easier to drink. Oh, also, it's definitely, suggest. definitely very, very easy to drink. But we're certainly promoting the Adelaide Hills as the perfect region for Grunewald Lina. Um, the, the, the climate conditions here in the hills, the climatic conditions are really spot on for that. If you compare the two regions back home in native Austria or in Australia, you have warm days, cool nights, that critical issue of having that big diurnal variation, those cool nights. Every grower in Austria will tell you to produce quality, you need those cold nights, and that's what we have here in abundance here in the hills. And it seems to really translate well. There are a lot of growers popping up all over. You'll find in the next um, three, two to three years, you're going to find people like um, Longview, Henschke, uh, Deviation Road, uh, Nova Vita, all these Adelaide Hills producers, about 12 producers, the pawn, they've all planted. So watch this space. You're going to see a lot of Grunewald Lina. Just call it Gru. Don't worry about Grunewald Lina. Call it Gruner. Gru. You're it's going to a, see a lot of Gruner coming up it's a good your thing. way. It's such, a, uh, such an approachable style of wine. And, um, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a style that's going to suit well with, um, uh, or pair well with, with a lot of different types of food, being a really, really lovely textural wine um, with nothing sort of you know, outstanding I think you mentioned before that it's a, it's a wine that, that doesn't shout at you, but it, but it speaks a lot. That's absolutely true. And, and uh, yes, absolutely good food wine. This is, has a reputation, international reputation, of being the most food-friendly wine on the planet. Mm. 
So they say, and that's why it's taken off in, in that sort of uh, west coast of America. We have that lovely Asian American fusion uh, food with food, and that really works so well with all the Asian foods.